Hi, I'm Amy Lewis with Solid Fire, and I'm here at VMworld 2015 with Julian. Julian, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Julian Box. I'm co-founder and CEO of Cligo. Excellent. So, Julian, what trends are you seeing in the storage industry? What is hot? What are you interested in? Tell us a little bit about what's going on out there. Uh, well, for us, uh, we're pretty much seeing two things. One is solid state, um, and then the other one is S3. They're the two main areas that uh, that we're seeing a demand for from our clients, um, and they serve different things for us. Uh, we we use solid state for all our production, but uh, we use S3 for backups and also certain types of services. So we have like a Dropbox type service, so we use it for that, and very media orientated dumping of archivey type stuff. Um, and the S3 suits that, that style. So what do you think has been the most surprising trend? What Are there any customer demands that either came more quickly or sped up faster than you thought? Um, that's a good question actually. I suppose it's a bit difficult for us because when we set Clego up four years ago, we actually went with solid state as 100%. We don't use anything else. Um, so we sort of betted on the fact that solid state was going to take over um, and certainly now the trend with the much bigger discs coming and the new technologies that have been announced this year um, is going to allow us to truly sort of um, meet our aspiration of being 100% solid state. Um, so maybe that's, that's come a little bit quicker than we thought. Um, certainly the disc sizes have jumped massively in the last um, 12 months and obviously the next 12, 18 months they're going to go you know, really big in comparison to where they were just two, three years ago. So that's certainly moved uh, quicker than um, we expected, but it's, uh, it's a nice, uh, nice trend, that one. So if you had your crystal ball or making a prediction for a customer out there, what would you tell them to be looking at, evaluating? How would you tell them to, to make their next technology move? I think from a storage perspective, um, I'm not a big believer in multi-tiers, um, so, uh, hence why you know, we, we went with just one tier in effect. But you do need to look at the, uh, the types of data that you're going to store. And solid state, you know, for us is 80% of uh, what we do, probably 90% of what we do. But it's all production based. And then the archive and the backup, then you really do, I believe, you need to look at S3 because it, the flexibility, the ease of use, the way you can just plug it into stuff really quickly because everybody supports it now. Um, so. When you're looking at storage, look at the data set rather than what you're actually trying to um, run on it. It's more the data set itself, in my opinion. So since we're in Barcelona, I have to ask you one Barcelona-based question. Tapas, good idea or you're totally done with it? Uh, no, I love tapas. tapas so uh, yes, definitely a good idea. Yeah, It's the scale-out food. It is, absolutely. <laughs> the problem is you tend to eat way more than you expected to. It's a bit like storage, actually, isn't it? <laughs> I think there's an analogy there. We're going to have to work on this. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Julian. Thank you. And we'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.